Welcome to Homework Answers. We're going through the textbook Programming Logic and Design, 8th edition by Joyce Farrell, and in this video we're covering Chapter 1, Exercise 10. As always, remember to make the necessary corrections to this. I always change a few things, and they're very minor, so if you have the book it's easy to um, change the necessary things. Uh, this problem only asks for the pseudocode or the flowchart, and in this problem we are trying to find the uh, monthly uh, monthly pay for a sales rep. Uh, so let's start with the pseudocode. We've got start, um, and we've got our declarations. We're going to have uh, a variable for his base salary. Um, then we'll have a variable for the amount of sales he does yearly. So we're probably you know he'd probably say last year I did this much in sales. Um, he's going to have a commission rate. So we have to factor that in there. And we're going to find his total pay. So we need a variable to contain, you know, after we do all the calculations, to put his total pay into. Next, we're going to have an area where he, he you know, the user is going to be able to say, this is my base salary. And it's going to prompt him to put that in. And then there's going to also be a prompt to say, how, how much did you do in sales this past year? and an area to input that. Then there's going to be uh, an area for oh, and we've got we've got to put something here as well. You know, so we'll have a place where we ask him you know what is your commission rate and um, we'll put that variable there. So he'll, he'll be able to say this is you know the percentage I get off of the sales. And uh, then we're going to have an equation to find his total pay, and that's going to be total pay, the variable total pay is equal to his base salary plus sales that he did over the year times his commission rate, you know, because we're not going to add the sales to his base salary, you know, he's not going to get 100% of what he did. So we have to find the percentage that he gets off of that. So we put that in parentheses before we add it to the base salary. And then we take all that and we divide it by 12, 12 months, because we want to find his monthly pay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to output the results. So it's going to say your uh, total monthly pay is dollar sign, that's a dollar sign there, and the variable total pay. So it's a, what's contained inside of this variable will be displayed. And then we've got end. And let's look at the code real fast. We've got uh, set precision to two and fixed. So this fixed or set precision to two says two decimal well two numbers, but we want fixed because we want two decimal places. Uh, this little these two things right here can't be used unless you have this. So make sure you have that little statement in the header there. Include I O M A N I P. Uh, everything else looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and run this and watch it work. So base salary, let's say he just makes 50. And um, how much he did in sales over the course of the year? Uh, he was a he was a good uh, good sales guy this year. Let's say he did 900,000 pitching products to big companies. And his commission rate um, maybe gets like 12%. So 12% would be 0.12 and uh, his monthly pay is going to be 13,166.67 and that's really awesome for a monthly check <laughs> in my book at least um, so that's that's basically it with this problem uh, not not too much to it and of course the textbook may have something different it may not do a monthly thing? I don't know. So, anyway, uh, I mean, I do know, <laughs> but uh, just for copyright reasons, I'm not going to say. I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, but uh, this looks like it's working pretty nicely. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.